What's up guys? So I was asked if I could make a video uh, clearly detailing my helmet pretty much and letting you guys know uh, about the light mode kit and how I did it. First, uh, what I did is I stretched out my wire and I found the middle point in the wire so I took both ends and I put them in, in my hand and then with my other hand I took the wire and stretched it out and then found the middle and then when I found the middle I started right here in the middle of the back of my helmet and then I did one side all the way down and back and then I did the other side all the way down and back that way when I, uh, where the wires ended it was pretty much even on both sides uh, as you can see I also have the actual battery pack mounted in the back of my helmet and because the actual adhesive uh, like little strip that comes with the light mode kit it wasn't designed to mount to the back of a helmet because the, the helmet is too curved for that so I actually went down to my local Ace Hardware and I got some of this Loctite putty stuff and put that on there just to make sure it stays on and so far it's been working really good uh, so with the light mode kit, as you can see, I kind of have the wires running under and the back. And you can't really see it that well, but I have spots of glue about every three or four inches. Uh, in areas where, in areas like down here, where I kind of have that little lip in my helmet. That's where I actually put an additional spot of glue. So, you know, I have one here, one here, one here, one there, one there. You know in all the all these little corners and then areas where it's curved like this you know I kind of maybe glued the whole thing down and then add added some pieces uh, I was when I was putting on my light mode kit I was really careful not to get any of the glue in the vents and you know I was pretty successful at that so, but some of the vents do like to stick a little bit kind of like this one is right now but that's something you should be mindful of. Also kind of like when I did it back here. And then, so this is actually just the regular black icon variant. Um, as you can see, I have my GoPro mount here and I have my microphone adapter and my microphone cable, which runs through the back of my helmet and it's kind of stuffed up, up in here. You can sort of see it back in there. And what I did is I actually ran it underneath my cheek pad and you can sort of see my microphone right in here just kind of hanging so that's kind of just how I did my helmet uh, the adhesive tape uh, that's pretty basic it just has an adhesive backing on it kind of like scotch tape you just put that on there the wire part you actually have to glue and I I glued it every couple inches as you can see, I have a little bit of play in some areas, but that's really not going to affect it that much. Um, I, I don't do a whole lot of highway riding, but if you were going to do a whole lot of highway riding, you might want to add as much glue as you can. I think I've already said that in one of my videos. Um, the light mode kits actually have three modes. They have the solid, uh, just light up mode, and then they have a slow flash like this and then they have the rapid flash mode but they're a pretty cool a pretty cool way to modify any helmet just make it your own make it custom the thing with the icon variant you should know is if you want to take your visor off you actually have to pull these tabs these little tabs right here you have to pull these off and behind them there's a big screw right here and you have to unscrew that and the visor is actually underneath this big plastic like the sun visor right here so you actually have to be able to peel that up off your helmet a little bit so that you can slide your visor under it and if you put your light mode kit and you run down the side like right here or something or you kind of go around the front and do that you're not going to be able to take your visor off unless you leave a lot of play in the electroluminescent wire. 
which is one thing I don't recommend doing. It, it, it increases the probability that it'll rip off or that you'll rip the glue or something like that. So for my design, I went, I kind of followed this line and then I went back up and around to the back. And that leaves me enough room to be able to peel this piece off if I ever wanted to change out my visor, like if it got scratched or if I wanted to clean it really good. But that is pretty much my my helmet, guys. Uh, the Another thing is that battery pack. It is designed to be mounted onto the side of the helmet instead of the back, which is why I have that Loctite putty on there. Uh, but, you know, just, you can do something like I did, and if you want to mount it somewhere else where, on, where it's on your helmet and it's a little more curved area of your helmet, you can buy the, like, adhesive putty stuff, and it works pretty good. But, yeah guys, that's, that's my helmet. I like it. I know a lot of you guys like it too. So, yeah. I hope this answers some of your guys' questions. And if you haven't already, like the video. It helps me out quite a bit. And if you haven't already, join the Monkey Barrel and follow me on YouTube, subscribe to my channel. Or I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and OurMoto.net. You can check me out there. If you guys have any questions you want me to answer, just let me know. I try to get to them as, as fast as I can. I'm normally pretty busy during the week, so it might be a couple of days or so before I can get to it. But I do try to answer all your guys' questions or reply to anybody's comment to the best of my ability. So be sure to be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions. Until then, I will see you guys next time. Later.